Hello YouTube, long time no see. Thought I'd best put a video out because it's been a while. Uh, I have been, uh, yes, I've been, I've been away, I've been doing things, got some stuff going on, which uh, we'll get into in a little while. You may have seen a post that I put up on uh, Instagram and I think it was Twitter, or was it Facebook? Or no, it probably wasn't Facebook, I don't really do Facebook anymore, I, I don't like Facebook. No one likes Facebook, Facebook sucks. Anyway, <laughs> mind you, they're all as bad as each other at the minute. Anyway, yes, a uh, couple of days off work, I'm out on the tyre because the sun's out for a change. Uh, yeah, the, you can see the check engine light is on. Uh, that is actually nothing to worry about. Um, the reason that's on is because the battery voltage must have uh, dropped too low whilst it was cold over the last few days. Because, uh, yeah, I went to uh, I went to come out on the tiger on Saturday. Yeah, what was that, three or four days ago now? Yeah, four days ago now. And, uh, yeah, it wouldn't start. So, uh, and it was the first time it had been, I'd, I'd uh, gone to go on the bike for the uh, best part of two weeks, really, because of the cold and the ice. I didn't want to be commuting in the icy conditions, so uh, I've been driving to work instead. Tiger wouldn't start because of the cold. So uh, I took the CRF out instead because it had been uh, ages since I've been out in the CRF. So the CRF needed a run. So I took the CRF out instead on Saturday. And uh, yeah, thought today it's uh, nice and sunny. It's actually considerably warmer than it was this time last week, where it was like, well, below freezing. Now it's, I don't know, 10, 12 degrees today, something like that. It's not cold. I haven't even got the heater grips on. So uh, yeah, thought let's uh, get out of the Tiger and uh, give it a run. Make sure its battery gets charged back up okay. Which uh, it fired, it fired straight up this morning, uh, just now. So uh, should be fine. But yeah, when when the battery runs flat, I know it does because it's not the first time this has happened. It does uh, throw up a warning light. So it's not a problem. I have got a uh, OBD2 to USB cable in the software. Uh, so I can reset the light if I need to, if it doesn't turn itself off. In the past it has turned itself off after a couple of uh, engine restarts, but uh, this time it's staying on, so... I'll read the code, make sure it is definitely only because of the battery voltage or whatever. Uh, let's go this way, it's probably going to be muddy and horrible, but... Uh, YOLO. Yeah, uh, hopefully that's all it is, obviously if there's any other error codes then uh, I'll look into them, but... Uh, the engine is running, the bike is riding, so uh, that's that's the main thing. Yeah, it's a bit muddy around here, but... Not going to be a problem because it's not icy. <laughs> Just a bit gravelly, we can deal with that, that's fine. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. As it's coming up to uh, Christmas and New Year and all that, um, I I did want to try and get away and uh, just get away from Christmas this year. I've, I've re it's been a pretty crap year, to be honest. I'll get I'll get into some some reasons why um, very shortly. But yeah, I was hoping to just get away somewhere, just where Christmas doesn't exist. And uh, on a budget, that and when you on a budget, and if you live in Europe, that's not really very easy to do on a tight budget. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. So, uh, yeah, I've, I'll be uh, going up to see my parents instead. I was going to think, I was going to do a solo, a solo road trip of some sort. Um, obviously, it's not the right time of year for camping, so it would mean uh, hotels or better breakfast, that sort of thing. But, of course, being Christmas, the price is tripled because it's Christmas. So, yeah. That's kind of rubbish, but that is the way of the world. Uh, but in looking into, you know, locations, places, I was going to maybe hop over into France and maybe the Netherlands, just, I don't know, somewhere to go sort of thing. Um, but yeah, because it's Christmas everywhere, it's just ridiculous. And also, uh, the ferry crossings are expensive, the Channel Tunnel crossing is a lot more expensive, and lots of other reasons. Basically, was, uh, whatever I did, it was going to be out of budget. So, um, yeah, it was a no-go. But it, looking into places to go and stuff, it did give me some inspiration to look at doing this for some some point next year when the weather's nicer and all that sort of stuff and we can keep costs low by uh, sticking to campsites as much as possible and things like that. So 
that's that's what I'm thinking for next year. I'll be doing either a solo European trip or uh, yeah, as part of a small group possibly. So yeah, that's that's on the cards for next year. We'll see how see how all things go because uh, I'm in a bit of a situation, uh, which is the reason I've been away from YouTube for a bit. Uh, unfortunately, uh, me and Mrs. 480 are separating, and uh, so that that's kind of the main thing that's been going on the last few months with me. Uh, yeah, we just realised that. Well, Mrs. 480 realised before me, really, but uh, she brought it up and said, "Yeah, brought some things to my attention," and actually. Having heard them, I had to agree. I was like, actually, yeah, you're right here. This just isn't working anymore. It's not, it just doesn't seem, doesn't seem right. So uh, basically the uh, relationship and marriage has run its course. So yeah, we're calling it a day on that. So um, yeah, thankfully it is all mutual and we're dealing with it very friendly and amicably. And have I missed a turn? This is supposed to come out onto a road, a main road. Not a church. I must have missed a... See, that says a no-through road there. Unless this road is now closed and there's no, no way through now. No, I can't, I can't see anything in this way because of the sun. Is it here? Is this where I should have gone? No, that's... Uh, Maybe it was that way. I can't see the road surfaces just reflecting the sun. <laughs> Alright, so I, I got lost. <laughs> Apparently. No, I'm sure this road goes all the way through and out to the other side. Oh, crap, uh, never mind. We'll just go back down to the road and go the other way. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not actually going anywhere, I'm just out for a ride, so it doesn't, doesn't matter. But I'd rather not be riding into the sun, especially when it's just zoom reflecting straight off the wet road surface like that. I just cannot see. So yes, anyway, we are um, we're, we're dealing with it um, in a friendly and respectable manner, so I'm thankful for that. Uh, so uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm buying my own place, which is all in the process of going through now. It's taking its sweet ass time because solicitors are crap. Um, Ah, did I turn early? Did I, was it a left after this pond, which you don't actually normally see because there's usually trees all here and you don't really see that, so... That's actually quite a big lake, or... I don't know, whatever it is. Could be a filled in quarry or something. I know it was there, but I've never really seen it because it's normally like this. You've just got all the um, shrubbery obstructing the view. Now, I'm pretty sure that turn was the right turn. Maybe it was that sort of right turn that actually looked like a dead end or a driveway or something, but there was no uh, sort of road sign indicating which way to go. Not that I saw, anyway. So yes, anyway, that's that's what's been going on. Uh, that's why uh, I've been a bit absent from YouTube. I've still been doing the Twitch streams. Again, I sort of took a bit of a step back from that as well, because I'm not sure how I want to progress with uh, the Twitch side of things on the gaming. Uh, I think I've got a rough idea what I want to do next year, so um, yeah, I'll be starting up more regular streams next year once, once I'm all sort of relocated and I've got all set up and stuff. So yeah, basically we'll just wait for all the dust to settle. Once I've moved and all the dust settles and I'm, I sort of know what I'm doing with my money and how much I can afford and all the rest of it. Yeah, this is where the road's supposed to come out. But it didn't. <laughs> So yeah, well, once I'm yeah, settled both location-wise and financially, uh, then yeah, I'll, I can look into where the next big trip's going to be. Because yeah, I've always wanted to do a European or just a road trip somewhere. So yeah, I'm looking into that. So I'm going to try and get back, yeah, back doing a little bit more regular content on YouTube. Because obviously it's me not uploading videos does not please the algorithm gods. They do not like it. Uh, so therefore, uh, yeah, it just turns your channel into, well, <laughs> dead, really. It just kills your channel. So yeah, I'll start getting uh, some more uploads put up. I might go through some of the old content and remake some into YouTube Shorts, maybe. I know not everyone likes YouTube Shorts. I don't particularly like YouTube Shorts, but um, 
that's the way YouTube wants to be. It wants to compete with bloody TikTok. So yeah, it favours shorts content. So yeah, I'll see what I can find. I'm sure as well. I mean, I've, I've had that. I've had more than my fair share of crashes. So uh, I'm sure there's stuff on there that I can uh, I can put up as YouTube shorts, just the throwbacks and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna yeah get around to um, dealing with it. Uh, I do want to get out of digital green laning. I've not been green laning since earlier this year when I did my knee in. That was April, May time this year. Um, and yeah, my knee, it took quite a while to actually uh, become not painful. And to this day, it's still, it's fine generally, but there are occasions where I do feel bits where it's been damaged. So uh, yeah, something permanent has been done there, unfortunately. Uh, and I don't really want to make it any worse, but I still want to get out and do some green laning. So, I'll get out and do some easy stuff to start with and see how I get on. Uh, I reckon it's going to take me a while to build my confidence back up because it's been so long. But um, I'm, I'm sure once I get back out there it's not going to be too long before I'm back in the usual sort of stuff. But I reckon, yeah, with muddy conditions and stuff it's going to take me a while to get a feel for that again. Um, but yeah, all in good time. I'll get back out there. So yeah, next year there might be some differences to the channel because I've, I've also been considering bringing some of the more car related stuff in but I've not really got much content for that anyway there's not really a lot for me to do there at the minute but there probably will be at some point um, yeah just general stuff really I'll just yeah change things up a bit perhaps and see if I like it or not because yeah I've considered bringing doing a couple of game streams on YouTube because I've often normally do that on Twitch but YouTube is another sort of, well, kind of the main competitor to Twitch now. So I thought I'd maybe give it a try. I mean, I've, I've already, you know, I've got a decent viewer base here on YouTube, so I thought it'd be good to try that. But then that's not really fair on the people that are here, because most of you are going to be here for the motorbike content. So I know it's, yeah, it could be um, a bit rubbish when channels kind of change their direction on things. So oh, so it smells good. I am hungry. It is. It is lunchtime. That, oh yeah, that that smell has just triggered my stomach. Now it's like right time to eat. Uh, we're near Whiteways. I might just get to Whiteways. Why not? Deploy the peak extender as we're going into the sun. Now, I mentioned on the video that I wasn't sure how much of an effect that would have having that little peak extender on this vi on the um, on the peak of this helmet. Uh, so it surprisingly, does make it a fairly good difference. If you're, you know, if you just need to just bring that forward a little bit, it could certainly help with uh, where the, if the sun's where it is now. It's, uh, yeah, it certainly helps keep uh, the sun out of your eyes just that little bit more. Oh, going back to what I've had going on the last few months, uh, I just want to say a big thank you to those that have been there to support me um, behind the scenes and stuff. You know who you are. Um, it's much appreciated. Uh, you are, yes, you're all very good friends, and I'm thankful that uh, you're about. And I knew I could reach out to you when, uh, obviously, this all started happening. So, yeah, thanks to you guys. Uh, it's been a big help. Beards are on me next time, whenever the next time may be. I do live in a nice part of the world, I have to say. <laughs> we do have some dodgy areas, we have some shit holes, but uh, not too many miles away, there's the South Downs and uh, it is beautiful. Okay, let's see. I mean, it's a normal Tuesday, not on a normal weekday in the winter, so I expect the whiteways might be pretty quiet. It's going to be more. Uh, dog walkers there, if anything. I don't think we're going to see many bikes, if any, but uh, let's go in and see. Two bikes! And then there were three.
Robins after my chicken burger. So there we go, apparently being a Triumph Rider, you're a bit of a bird magnet, just not in the way I thought. Two bikes left, two more arrived. We've got an old uh, Kickstarty 100 thing there, I don't know what it is. And uh, I think that's a motor guzzy. Some kind of uh, V-shaped engine in that, whatever it is. So, uh, yeah. Apart from thinking that uh, my chicken burger was going to get stolen by uh, a little robin, which I'm sure that's technically cannibalism in some form. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that was actually that was a really nice chicken burger, actually. And a uh, reasonable price, too. Right, my check engine light is still on, Penny, so, um, crap. I need to go and get my cable, plug it in and clear that and find out if there's any other error there. I mean, <laughs> the bike started up fine, it's moving fine, so, yeah, I'm not too worried. But, yeah, I'll plug that in and just clear that off. Uh, what else? Yeah, oh, I'm going to make the most of what's left of the, shun the sunshine today. Uh, and get the car washed, because the car is, as you can imagine, quite filthy after commuting in uh, all the horrible weather that we've had. So, uh, yeah, it is well overdue and clean. So, uh, yeah, I'm go home and do that. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it for the day, I think. We'll edit this video and, yeah, back to work tomorrow. Boom. But it's only for a couple of days, then I'm off for Christmas and then not back until the New Year. Hooray! So thanks for watching everybody, uh, obviously if you've got any input for some of the things I said in this video regarding the future of the channel, that sort of thing, then uh, by all means drop me a comment, let me know what you think, if you'd like to see different stuff being done, if you're open to change, uh, I know some people don't like change, I'm not particularly a fan of change, but uh, it depends, it depends on what it is. So yeah, just let me know your thoughts really, uh, yeah it'd be good to hear from you. So there we go. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on the next one, which is probably not going to be till into next year. So uh, I'll take this opportunity to say, yeah, have a good Christmas and a happy new year to you all. Oh, look at that. The check engine light has now uh, extinguished itself under its own fruition. Uh, there we go. It fixed itself. Made in Britain. Whatever, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's not on anymore, so therefore everything is fine. I won't need to bother plugging the thing in now. That's that's saved me one little job. Unless it comes back on next time I turn it on, but I don't think it's going to now. Now it's gone off, I think it's realised that actually everything is fine. <laughs> the situation normal. Bye-bye, everybody.